One of the cool new features in the latest Carbon Cloth for Maya release is the option to select only edge primitives for collision, while maintaining the full flexibility and robustness that comes from still having the cloth face properties as part of the simulation network. The most obvious use case is for netting, but there are also much more exciting use cases that drove this feature requirement, and we will show one of those later in the video. So here we have a carbon cloth sack with four carbon rigid bodies inside. If we run the simulation, it drapes as you would expect. Now we can turn this into a net by simply changing the carbon cloth collision from face group to edge group. We are displaying carbon collision primitives, and as this cloth is quads, we get rectangular holes. We can see it behaves like a net. And we can further refine this net by selecting a subset of the edges. You can see the selection here in the attribute editor. You can create various types of netting and weaving, and you can find these example scenes in the documentation. However, this edge collision has use cases way beyond simple nets. For example, the power of being able to control the twist and curl of a strand can be applied to curly hair simulation. More on that in the next video. Meanwhile, thank you for watching.